Hi ladies, I wanted to go over commonly asked questions just in case you guys are having the same questions as everyone else. I thought I'd just answer them all here for you. So question number one, how many removers or cleanser pads do I use per uh, removal? So my removals, I only ever use five. Five, open them up. The little sticky thing on the back, so you're gonna wrap them around, stick them on, I do all five fingers, and then I consider the remover clips a must. I don't like to be um, stuck like without any hand, so that's why I don't do two hands at a time. I just do one hand and then I could carry on with my day with the other hand. So I'd put all my five removers on and slide clips over each finger. I let it soak for five, 10 minutes at the most, and then I start at my pinky. I'll remove this one, leave the rest on, remove this polish and then work my way to my bigger fingers. So by the time I get to those fingers, they've had extra time to soak just because there's more polish on them. So start at my pinky, work my way over to my thumb, then keep the removers in there, transfer everything, the remover pad and the clip right on to the other hand and repeat that process. So only five per removal. I do the same thing with my toes, five on one foot, remove that polish starting at my pinky, move to my big toe, transfer everything over to my, to my other foot. You can do if you don't want to, you know, it takes you twice the amount of time if you were to do 10, but when you're doing 10, you are using twice the amount of removers. I do have a friend, she really gets her money's worth. She does three fingers at a time. So she doesn't even like to be without one hand. She has a baby, so she does three fingers at a time and she's still able to, you know, get along with her day with her one hand and her two fingers. So she'll only do three fingers at a time. As long as there's some moisture in that pad, it'll work. It'll take a little bit longer, but it'll work. So you guys do what works for you. I do one hand or one foot at a time. For the cleanser pads, easy peasy. This is just one per use. You can do both hands, both feet. It's just an alcohol little swab that uh, removes any extra dirt or oil from your nail bed and under your nails. So when you cap it, everything is clean and will cure properly. So you could, easily use one per petty per mani. These are really saturated, so only one. That's why they only come in boxes of 50 because you only use one per, per use, so they'll last you a long time. Question number two, does the lamp get hot? With the colored polish, no. It, it's warm at best. It's not, uh, it's an LED, it's not a UV, so you don't get that hot, sunburny feeling it, with the colored polish. With the top coats though, it is a different formula because it is an actual top coat. So there are some different hardeners in it because it's a top coat. I do find that these can get hot. Not always, it's, it's random, but they can get hot. I thought it was the sparkle in the sparkly ones, but I've also had matter effect. Of all the times I've used matter effect, only once has this warmed up. So like I said, it's random. I, I think it's just how the light hits it. But I mean, it's not, it's not gonna hurt you. It's not actually gonna burn you. But I mean, it's a little uncomfortable. So when your hand is curing, all I do is blow on my nails and it cools off like one puff of air and it cools it off enough. If you're really you know, worried, you can pull your hand out just for like one or two seconds and just pop it right back in. I don't like to mess with my cure. So I just leave it in and blow and it's fine. So colored polish, no, it does not heat up at all. And for some reason, the top coats heat up a little bit. Number three, what is the catch? There is no catch. I would not be here if there was a catch. If the product wasn't legit, I wouldn't be here. I, I'm here because I love the polish and it has literally, my husband thinks I'm dramatic, but it has changed my life. I was doing my nails anyway. I'm not a nail tech. I just have always loved and done my nails. So this, caught, this has just fixed my issue. I was looking for an at-home gel polish system the salon didn't work out for me. I could not find the time and the removal process was so harmful on my nails and I had thin, brittle nails left. So I, I was really looking for something. So this cured the head for me. So I just wanted to initially tell my friends and family about it and it just snowballed into this big thing. So if it wasn't legit, I would not be here. I am totally honest with you guys. So if you guys want any reviews or my personal feedback on anything please feel free to ask but there is really there's no catch you can shop when you want you can you can just work it out when you need it when you want it there's no monthly order a lot of people are scared of the auto ship there's no auto ship with this company there's no monthly minimums 
there's none of that even for the on the distributing side on the business side there's no monthly minimum so you guys just shop when you need the product that's it there's always a link at the top of the page to shop simply load your cart and check out they do not save shipping info they do not save your visa info payment info of any kind it's like i said shop when you want it when you need it there's no account set up so there really is no catch if you love nails pretty nails that's it this will fix it for you does the polish last yes again i would not be here if it didn't last i i so i went from regular nail polish which we all know is it's just like really frustrating and i went to shellac which i liked it because it wore longer than regular polish but i would find that around my cuticle area it would always start to lift and peel after about a week and a half and i didn't have a system at home so i would have to go back in and get a totally fresh set because you couldn't even repair it it was lifting so bad so this for me does not ever lift the only wear i get is on the tips just because my nails are long and the tips of your fingers get you know hit with the most wear so it's the only thing I find with this is that the tips wear I wear for at least a week and a half to two weeks um, if you want it to last longer you can just touch up the tips this is now almost two full weeks and I haven't even touched it up and it looks great so depending on the color and depending on what you were doing for that you know amount of time um, contributes to the wear but it does last and it lasts longer than shellac did on me so I am I'm floored about it and the last question my favorite part of gel moment I have two favorite parts first of all the time like I said I was a regular polish junkie and the dry time was really really slow and you know you just hope that when you wake up in the morning it's set properly and there's no sheet creases or air bubbles and in three or four days time it's worn anyway so that was frustrating for me so I didn't like the time of that and then to go to the salon and get my shellac on I didn't like the time of that either because it was just hard to find time to get there and to schedule it in and even at the walk-ins it's like okay I'll just go when I have time but then you go and you end up waiting an hour or whatever it was so for me this has fixed the time issue and the other the other thing that it has fixed is just the wearability of it if I wanted to prolong it like say I don't have don't have the time to do a whole new set or whatever is I can like just buff the top down add a fresh new coat it's good to go or if I'm really loving the color and I just want to try something new I do this actually more than I do removals is I'll put my mani on wear it for a week week and a half and I'm like oh I really want to change it up I'll add matter effects or captivate top coat and it's a whole new manicure or you really want to get adventurous and add a whole nother color over it you can customize that as well so you can make it a whole new manicure get a whole nother week week and a half out of it by just adding what you already have in your collection so those are my two favorite things about gel moment if you guys have any more questions for me please let me know and I will happily answer them for you.